We got ourselves a new martial artist. I don't know if he's a martial artist, but he can fight strong. Infinite bandanas. We got Ryoga. And he has no sense of direction. And we still don't know exactly why he hates Rama. Because we thought it had to do with the buns. It's not the buns. Something else has happened, but he won't tell us. The relationship between Akane and Rama, it's uh, pretty abusive. Akane is a bitch. I don't care. Sundere bitch. Like, the gaslight and manipulation from her just crying. Oh, it's because you, I care so much about you, but you gotta act this way. Nah, nah, that's just toxic as fuck. Let's begin today's reaction. The haircut. Here comes the haircut. I think she looks better with the short hair, actually. Always gotta do this, too. <coughs> Ooh. Nah, 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 just walk away. By the way, this is not our fault. Ryoga did that with his weapon. We did not cause any of this. I swear to God, if she blames us. <laughs> These own nuts, bro. Actually, who are you? They're like, you're the word scum. Actually, who are you? But you don't even know anything about this context, bro. I shouldn't take it so seriously. Just a goofy ass show, right? But god damn, bro. God damn. I wish that Skuna would show up right now at this school. Ugh. Ruga, you did this shit. <laughs> Ain't no way you said that. Sheer disaster. <laughs> Poor choice of wording. Quite the pun, huh? Kick him in the balls. Oh! Did we both get it? Yeah, I think that's fair, right? Ryuga's weapon is the thing that caused this. But why was the weapon even out? Because we were fighting. So I guess, like, obviously, there's some partial blame. At, at the very least, Rama wasn't, like, isolated there. Oh. Who says you're cute? I think that she looks better with this hairstyle. <laughs> oh, that foot. She injured it. The dumbest trip, bro. After she said she's fine. What's Tofu Sensei gonna say about her hair? Rama. Oh, god damn it. Tofu Sensei definitely told Akane in the past that he likes women with long hair, right? Oh, fuck me. And that's why our biggest sister also has long. Oh, god damn it, bro. <sighs> yeah, she's gonna be pissed. Here, how he talks to the skeleton. Bigger sister. <laughs> Yo, she still sounds like a mom, even though she's like, what, like 15 in here or some shit? I don't know what the age. Anyways, the Tofu Sensei doesn't seem very different. How old is he? How old is Tofu Sensei, by the way? Hold up. Rama, one half. Tofu Sensei age. Dr. Tofu age. It's never stated. Probably early 30s. Mid th mid twenties to early thirties is what it says in the wiki. Mid twenties, early thirties. Okay, okay. Tofu Sensei is just a genius, guys. Genius, very young. Okay, nothing weird go happening here. <laughs> he doesn't know how to talk. <laughs> He's doing this with the skeleton. <laughs> the long hair. Mm. So Tofu Sensei didn't explicitly say it, but the fact that he likes, you know, big sister here and the long hair, she wanna be just like her. But here's the thing. You look better as a tomboy. You should be a tomboy. Just accept who you are. Fuck everyone else, but her obsession with Tofu Sensei and the and the desire to be accepted by him, right? That's what's fucking this set up right now. 
What if Tofu Sensei actually likes girls with short hair? It'd be crazy. Yo. How is he hanging up like that? <laughs> Jesus. Dude, Rama is so kind and considerate and cares about her feelings and wants to check up. You throw a lamp at his face? Oh, the hair. There goes dinner. Nice catch, Rama. Nice dinner catch. Oh, she's accepting it. I thought that she'd be really sad about it. And she is, but she's moving on. Gaslit. I feel like she owes us an apology, too. There's no way Rama is at fault only here. Ugh. New drip, though. No red shirt. No, it's her. The hairstyle change was so much. I think when she got her hair cut off clean, that was a way better look. The long thing here. Bi whatever big... S okay. Here's a conspiracy theory. Big sister intentionally fucked up Akane's hair so that Tofu Sensei is secured. Mm hmm why not? Yeah, big sister is sabotaging right now, bro. Why would you do Akane like this? It is neat and trim. I just like the old one better. The old shorter style. Really? Or a lie? <laughs> Don't be kind to me, you're creeping me out. <laughs> hey, new style. Again. But she's done it before. As a kid, the kid flashback, because Rama has no clue you know, of Akane's hairstyle before. <laughs> you better say yes. <laughs> There's times where lying helps out. It's called a white lie, okay? Say yes. <laughs> Sensei? Kana. Good. Okay, okay, okay. There it is. Nice one, Sensei. Never mind. Not nice one. Oh, no, the tears. Because it suits you better. As in, it's affirmed that she is a tomboy. Like what Big Sister said, right? It suits you better. You're a tomboy, but she doesn't want to be a tomboy. She wants to be something that will have Tofu Sensei's affection. That's the thing, right? No, that's not his fault. Like, these tears are pretty much confirming that, like, she, like, deep inside, she always knew she's a tomboy, right? Like, these are not tears of happiness. These are tears of, like, catharsis, right? It's like the realization that, man, I, I do fit shorter hair. I am a tomboy. And all this time, I try to not be one, try to be something else for this guy. And all of that emotion's kind of coming together out of boil, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, Tofu-sensei, I've loved you since I was a toddler. But you don't know that. And, uh, where do we go from here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is he trying to make a baby laugh by making funny faces right now? Because Akane is crying. Is that what dad's thinking? Read the room, dad! And the best part? Hopa says he still doesn't know. This girl just showed up with their hair fucking just slashed and starts crying. And Tofu says it. <laughs> okay, okay, they're there. They're there. Uh -huh. Tofu Sensei's an idiot. Don't know how he graduated med school. Well, here's the thing. A lot of academics 
superior intellect in these academic fields, sometimes they have no knowledge of, let's say, like common sense, right? Street smarts, being able to read the room, being able to understand and empathize with others, being able to relate to the common person and think what they're thinking, right? It, something is missing in these geniuses, these eccentrics, where they're so good, they're so smart, yet they can't understand why the average person feels a certain way. Okay, the crying is done. Looks like she's moving on. Yeah. Oh, Rama's trying to help. You moved on? Yeah. Looks like she's moved on. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. You look good? にょってる。おお。そうか。なんだよ、その顔。熱あるんじゃない?ばっかやろ。に流されてくれなくても。まあ、he the other party just crashes out, you know? Sundari on Sundari pairing, man. It's just, oh, you're just asking for a fire. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 what do you see there? I'm saying I prefer shorter hair on you, but that thing is kind of confirming that, you know, he's into her and boom, has to catch himself. What am I saying? I'm blushing. Hmm. Okay, okay. This is the best moment we've gotten so far. Don't fuck it up. It's not a lie. We're having a moment. This is it. And poke. Toxic. Bruh. Just remember, anytime you have a moment of deep, you know, like these deep moments, right? Both sides seeing eye to eye, feelings coming out. Let's wait a couple seconds. <laughs> Someone's gonna do something stupid, and then we're gonna basically reset. <laughs> we're still having a good time. Where are you, Ryoga? Which prefecture are you in? Osaka? Is this Hawaii? Where are you? Is he in a different country now? I don't know. Oh, he's back. He's back. He made it. He made it to Tendo Dojo. Bro, he broke in. Wakey, wakey. Bro, it's the middle of a fucking night. It's raining, pouring outside. What the hell are you coming in here, breaking and entering, demanding a fight? Dodged. And Rama's a girl. <laughs> Yeah, explain. Okay. Have we seen him get hit by rain? Or water? He followed us to China. And maybe something happened there. This feeling of Anger, hatred. Maybe he followed us to one of those pools. Which pool did you land in? And it also kind of makes sense how he immediately was like, Oh, Rama turned into a girl? Okay, I see it. He understood that immediately. What has he changed into? Mm, what did you turn into, bro? <laughs> Oh! It's the pig! It's the pig from the opening! The pig with the bandana! 
There it is. There it is. Oh, the, the, the small piggy thing, remember? He had the bandana on in the opening. Oh, shit. I think this sneak in. And you know what's actually even funnier to think about? That if he does turn into a pig, what's the first thing that he beat when he showed up in last episode? A boar. Right? Bro, they were just telling us from the fucking beginning. Holy. What the? Damn, she actually saw. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? I mean, she used two hands there, but. Yo, Bix is actually strong? Uh, I, I mean, she, she, she had one hand there, actually. She wasn't holding it there. She. Yo! She's actually cracked. She's got superhuman strength. Stronger than Akane. Stronger than Akane, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> That's fucked up. Throwing like a 50 pound dumbbell at the back of the head is crazy. Oh. oh, transform, bro. Transform, bro. He's not transforming immediately. Nice aim, Akane. Yo, Ryoga didn't transform immediately. There he is. Where are you, piggy? <laughs> no, not him. It's not a dog, right? Oh, he's a little piggy. Point, point. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, little piggy. Little bandana piggy. Oh, look at him. So what? He fell into the pool where a little piggy drowned and therefore he turns into a little piggy when he gets hit with water? Very cute. Ryuga will become Akane's pet. You hit him. You threw a fucking dumbbell. <laughs> Rama's gonna think that this dog is Ryuga, bro. Rama's just actually talking to the dog right now. Yeah, for sure, bro. Maybe you got a new dog as well. This is Ryuga, by the way. I'm so mad. Booba. Booba. Yeah, and look at the bandana. Oh. Pig dick. Bro has no clue. Oh, it has a name. It's got an owner already, Beth. Hey, Beth. Again, like, it shouldn't be boiling, scalding water. Nope. Yo, give the piggy some. Give the piggy some. Yeah. Two dudes are gonna be sharing the bathtub pretty soon, bro. Oh, God. Oh, God, here we go. Real good. It's a whole ass man. Hey. Anyways, what's up? He sees everything. Yeah, it's me. But here's the thing. You're mad that you followed us to China. First of all, let's get some facts straight. Motherfucker, you waited four days to show up. We waited three days, okay? So you already fucked up there. And then we went to China for training. You followed us. No one asked you to follow. You were already late. Then you fell into the pool without us doing anything. And then you're going to blame us for that shit? This dude. He's just blaming everyone but himself. No sense of self-accountability. How the hell is this my fault? Okay. Sure. That's on you. Literally on you. Back then, he didn't have those bandanas. Panda. Okay. I see now. We did have a play in it. We directly encountered him. The knockback here is what fell into the pool. Yeah, there's sure responsibility. 
he had no clue. It's still like like the fault is not all on us though, right? Like he still followed us here after no one asked, after he was late for four fucking days. But he did get knocked out here, so I think that's fair. That was Rama. No, we saved him though. What did that do? Oh. Did we try to cook him? Did Dad try to cook him? Okay, okay, you know what? Blame Dad. No, 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 you, you, you should not be mad at me. No, no, blame Dad for this shit, okay? I didn't do this, okay? Blame the fucking panda. Oh, shit. Yeah. A black piglet. Yeah, gee, and we have a black piglet right here. I wonder if this could be that, you know, legend. Put him in the water. Put him in the water. Ow. Ow. That's actually insane, bro. Like, that kind of boiling water? Holy shit. I feel you, man. I get it. Blame that on dad, though. Blame Panda for that shit, not me. No, 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 you stood up on yourself. If we're going to go back to this point as the fall of all because you stood me up on our promise, no, 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 no. I, for sure, I get it that we tackled you. For sure, I get it that dad then took you to a restaurant. But if you're going to base this back on the origin point of the duel, you showed up four days late. I waited three fucking days. Uh-uh, you can't say that. You are the owner though. Panda. Hey, family reunion. The dad knows. Never mind. What does the dad think right now, actually? Is dad like, oh shit, you, you trying to get busy, Rama? I didn't know you rolled that way, but okay, go get it. Anyways, I'm out. That's the panda. Yeah, that's him right there. Get his ass. That's me. Yo, Black Piglet back shots. Oh, shit. Oh. I kind of taking aside. What is she gonna figure out that this is actually real go, bro? What the hell? Yo, that's real go, man. It's real go. Our fiance just had her first kiss with a pig. We're getting cucked by a little piglet right now. Damn, that's crazy, bro. That's insane. What is that? Because this buta is, you know. Oh, why would he be jealous? What reason would someone have to be jealous about? Does Rama like me? I don't know. Dude, how is he? How's he doing this? Okay. I thought he was literally just like hanging off of a bare foot with on the roof, but it's, he's got a little ledge here to put the feet there. Oh, on top of you after a night where she thought that he's jealous? Why jealous? Hello? It's my fault now. <laughs> Did we deserve that? Wait, whoa, 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 okay, okay. Nabiki. Yeah. <laughs> this uh middle sister is fucking crazy. Her sense of ethics or morality is non-existent. She was willing to sell off pictures of Rama and her little sister. 
Sneaking into our room at night is fine at all, but do keep it down. Naviki is insane. Holy. <laughs> Even dad approves. Actually, no, dad doesn't care. Dad wants this shit to happen so that his dojo is safe. <laughs> And that's it. Looking like Ryo got joined the family. And that's another episode of Rama. Do we have a post credit scene? No, we don't. Man, what a twist, huh? I didn't realize that Ryuga was also another victim of those, you know, legendary pools in China. But here we have it. The reason why he hates us has to do with the fact that we stood him up. No, we didn't. I waited three fucking days. And you took four days to get here, right? And then... He did get kind of knocked around by, you know, Panda and us, right? We kind of tackled him while on the rush for the training against Dad. He got put in there, and then Dad just picked him up and tried to, you know, butcher him. So, I think that's fair. Other than that, Akane getting over Dr. Tofu stuff was pretty good. It was very, uh, concise. She cried it out. She got her, you know, confirmation that she does look better with shorter hair. She doesn't need to be, you know, like, bigger sister, and she's moving on. The feelings between Rama and Akane is getting obviously a little bit more clearer, but the Sundere, you know, is gonna keep doing it. So anytime we have any moments of affection, just know that something stupid's gonna happen. And Ryoga has joined the family as our little piggy pet. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.